Game of the week, second place Origin versus first place Fnatic. And even though this is no longer a battle between the two undefeated teams in Europe, it remains a banner match between two of the top squads in the LCS. Plus, you can't deny the excitement that will hit the rift as Peke and Soaz face their former teammates Reckless and Yellowstar. This BF Game of the Week will take place on Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Central European Summertime. And now to help us shine a light on that match, let's bring in Effia Shax de Portre to Primetime League. How's it going, Shax? Well, I'm a year older, but none the wiser, Riffing Tunnel. Indeed. Happy belated birthday. So before we talk about BF Game of the Week, you wanted to talk about Origins loss to Rocket. Yeah, definitely, because a lot of people actually, frankly, expected Origin to go into Week 4 undefeated 6-0, and but they got a loss from Rocket, which is quite unexpected because Rocket had not been on a roll up to then. But the way Origin played was not very convincing. And to illustrate this, normally on average in the five games they played before that, they were 4,000 gold up at 20 minutes. Now they were only down 818 gold versus Rocket at 20, which is not even 1K. But the way they played off of that was just really, really telling. They hadn't played played from behind in the LCS yet, and they kept funneling into these positions that they shouldn't, taking fights they shouldn't in choke points versus a Rumble or versus an Azir, and Rocket was just able to completely roll over them. I do feel like for Origin, it's a good thing that this happens before their matchup versus Fnatic, and at least they can learn from their mistakes and learn from playing from behind. That's an interesting take, and hopefully they do have enough time before they face Fnatic to sure up those problems. But let's bring Fnatic into the mix now and talk about this matchup. Yeah, well, obviously, Fnatic versus Origin, there is a bit, or I should say, a lot of history there, because Xpeke and Soaz, who were members of Fnatic for so long, Xpeke left, built his own team in Origin, only Yellowstar was left, and now Reckless, of course, in Fnatic as well, and now these two teams are fighting each other for the top of the tables in the European LCS. What I know for sure is that it is going to be a very aggressive early game. Both D teams have shown to be very, very feisty when it comes to the early game. As an illustration, Fnatic up to now has had 27 kills and 19 deaths in the early game before 15 minutes. Origin is up there with 24 kills and 12 deaths. So if there's anything that's going to happen, it's going to be bloody and I hope it happens as well. If we look at this matchup lane to lane, every single lane has an incredibly interesting story and um, just has a lot to look at. We start at the top lane. So I versus Huni. Soaz, for a long time, regarded as one of the best top laners in EU, but now Huni has taken that spot. He has shown a lot of champion diversity. There is some overlap there with Soaz in the Rumble, in the Hecarim, but it will be very interesting to see what he goes for. Will uh, Huni be up there and step up and carry, or will he play a more team play oriented or counter pick like they did with the Cho'Gat versus the Rise? A lot of that will depend on the jungle matchup as well. Amazing versus Rainover. Rainover and Huni is one of the best top laner jungle combos, in my opinion, we've seen in Europe in a very, very long time, and Rainover is always there to help that top lane and the rest of the lanes. But on the other hand, Amazing has also shown to be very, very aggressive in the early game for OG. So I'd love to see how that plays out. And then moving on to the mid lane, Expeke versus Febivin, the Fallen King versus the Prince, the heir to the throne. Um, if you look at both of their play styles, actually, they have been going for champions like Cassio, uh, like Oriana for Xpeke, like Azir for Febivin, that haven't really been that explosive. But when it comes to the numbers in the early game, Febivin has definitely been more active. Five, six, and three so far before 15 minutes, and Xpeke only two, one, and one. So we'll have to see what they decide to do if Xpeke decides to be a little more aggressive in the early game, also coming off that loss from Rocket, and what happens. Then turning to the bottom lane, what an interesting matchup we have there. New Niels versus Recklers. Niels, our week one MVP, exploding onto the European LCS. A fantastic thing we saw in his, in his second game of the split. Up versus Reckless, who has, of course, returned to Fnatic after his stint on Alliance and Elements. And, well, is now show, uh, looking to show his true talent because he's always been looked at as that fantastic AD carry in Europe. But now there's Niels there in the opposite lane against from him, who has been putting up fantastic numbers. And they wouldn't be anything without, of course, their support. Mithy on the side of Origin has been showing immense mechanical prowess and, and shot calling but if you talk about shot calling and decision making there's yellow star on the other side for a fanatic who has stuck with that team has stuck with that organization and built it back from the ground up so there are just a ton of interesting storylines to follow here an amazing rundown of the lane shocks thank you so much now with all this in mind how do you see it playing out well uh, i think fanatic's gonna take it Riv. Fair enough. All right, Shox, thank you for joining us. We look forward to that game tomorrow. 
Yeah, Rev, I definitely can't wait. Fnatic versus Orihen. I wish it was right now. I'm so excited. All right.